Now, what if you are asked to determine whether there are any arbitrage opportunities between the dealer and the interbank market? So let's say the interbank market quotes this pair currency pair where we have dollar to pound from 1.285 to 1.2858 and for the dealer, they are quoting 1.2837 to 1.284. So in this case, is there an arbitrage opportunity available between the dealer and the interbank market? So what I normally teach students is that you just draw the line, draw the, time, draw the line with the currency pairs for both interbank market and dealer and see if there is an overlap. If there is no overlap, there will be an arbitrage opportunity available. So for example, for the interbank market, okay, if I draw for the interbank market out, this is uh, 1.285, okay. So we have 1.2850 to 1.2858. And for the, dealer, for the dealer's quote, okay, for the dealer, okay, the range is from this point here. So we have 1.2837 to 1.284. So apparently here there's an overlap between the dealer and the interbank market. So there's a gap there. So as long as there is a gap between these two, there will be an arbitrage opportunity. So how do we do it? So it's simple. Always remember buy low and sell high. So I will buy and sell. So what are we buying? Okay, when I say buy, I'm referring to the base currency, which is pound. So I'm going to buy one pound. Okay, for USD, 1.284. And with this one pound, I can now sell it in the interbank market and get 1.285 US dollars. So at this point here, I'm going to sell one pound and I'm going to get USD, 1.285. So your profit, in, your arbitrage profit in this case will be 1.2850 minus 1.284. Okay, USD, which is about 0 0.0010. So that's 0 0.0010 US dollars, okay, for every pound. So that's the arbitrage opportunity. Now let's look at another scenario. The interbank market rate is still the same, but the dealer quote is now different. So for the interbank quote, it's between 1.285 okay to 1.2858 and for dealer's code it starts from 1.286 which is right after so I'm going to draw it here so it's 1.2860 to 1.2863 so again there is a gap between the two quotes so in this case there will be an arbitrage opportunity again the idea is to buy low and sell high uh, this is for the interbank market and this is for the dealer's code so what we'll do is we'll buy one pound at 1.2858 so we will buy one pound, okay, for USD 1.2858. This is how much we have to pay, okay, in the interbank market. And then we will sell the one pound and get 1.286. Okay, we will sell the one pound to the dealer for US dollar 1.2860. Okay, so again, when we buy or sell, it's always referring to the base currency. So your arbitrage profit here will be 0 0.002. Uh, Okay, for every for every one pound. Now, last example here. Uh, let's say we have a dealer who quotes one point two eight five six to one point two eight six one. So in this case, we have the interbank market again one point two eight five zero to one point two eight five eight. This is interbank market, and then for the dealer, they are quoting one point two eight five six. Okay, one point two eight five six to one point two eight six one. So in this case, there's an overlap here between the two markets. So there will be no arbitrage opportunities available because I can't be buying, uh, I can't be buying at 1.2861 and then selling at 1.2850. Okay. Or I can't be buying at 1.2858 and selling at 1.2856. That will cause losses to me instead. Okay. So if there's an overlap between the two quotes, there is no arbitrage opportunities available.